Hello guys, welcome back. So today was wonderful. We had the strangest experience. I'm working with Dionysus and I like just, I feel like I'm floating off the ground practically. I get so happy and excited because he's all about, with me, it's like have joy, have fun. All you do is work every day. Do you remember vacation? Do you remember fun? Even your fun seems like it's utilitarian anymore. Fun. So we went for a walk to the store <laughs> because Dionysus food. And all day long, I've been hearing these mysterious bumps and thumps in the house. And I know very damn well what it is. And I, we will be, you know, I will be trying to work with the great gods. And you'll hear, but Loki too, right? But Loki too, right? <laughs> damn it, you're out of this house. And uh, we'll be walking along, you know, metaphorically speaking, I'll be going out for the walk and I'll, I'll be trying to, like, you know, communicate with Dionysus. And you will feel the energy of this this wolf, this wolf walking behind you like nobody sees it. <laughs> I'm like, damn it, I hope there are no witches in the area. They're gonna have a coronary. And, you know, it's um, it, it was actually really endearing because we went to shop and I'm I'm trying to consult and be inspired by Dionysus. I know what this sounds like. And I'm getting all the rich, beautiful, indulgent food because Dionysus seems to be about treating myself well. He doesn't care if it's the cheapest food in the store as long as it's something I really love. That's Dionysus. And I get the sense of... <laughs> you know, Odin, God damn it. <laughs> trying to get in on the action and being like, yes, that's very good. <laughs> and I'm like sure not to scream in the middle of the store because <laughs> I'm like, they're not witches. They won't understand. What are you doing? I'm having an argument. Dionysus and I are trying to have a moment and Odin's trying to butt in, but Odin's not my life anymore because he's told Terry and jerk. Do you need a doctor? <laughs> it's exactly what I would have heard. So, we go shopping, we buy all this stuff, we come home, and remember, it's pretty cold out, it's in the 40s, in fact, it's supposed to snow, like, Thursday or Friday, one, one second, these damn allergies, okay, sorry about that, and we decided to go out and see if there was anything we needed to stock up at the uh, store, so we, you know, gas station, nothing there. And Dionysus like, oh, go ahead, you know, it is going to get cold and stay cold, like, the roads will become a sheet of ice eventually. He's like, go ahead. And this whole time, you can feel these Norse deities like, but we love you, we're so sorry. And it felt like all day Odin would try to come up to me every so often and be like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, you didn't learn your goddamn lesson. I know you didn't. I said, Odin, I love you. I love you more than, you know, words can say. But I know your essential nature. You're totalitarian, you're a jerk, you're a bit of an asshole. I fucking love you, but you have no problem with what you do. And I said, I love you to the moon and back, but no. I said, no, because you will say a million times I've learned my lesson, I will change. I said, you don't fucking change because you don't want to because you literally think you're right. I said, I understand you don't see why what you do is bad. I said, I see that. I see that. I really do. And I'm not trying to hurt you, but you're like one of the worst deities for me. He's still trying. The gods bless us all. <laughs> Lucky too. Dionysus had pity. He had me at least leave their things up. He, you know, he would welcome them with open arms. All the other gods and goddesses would, but they tend to... I think it's kind of that paradox of, you know, the Nordic cultures would have been traitors in that too, but they're not as open to dealing with other pantheons, at least in my experience, where the Greek pantheons don't care because they all wandered in from somewhere and we don't know where and they're all fine with it. They became a family. And... They're good to each other, and sometimes they'll play that family role, and sometimes they will do this confusing thing of, oh, you really think that one's older than me and my father? Yes? What are you saying? So, they've been having fun. Um, I love Odin, and I know a lot of people probably think I don't, but I told him, much to his astonishment today, I said, I'm not loyal 
if loyalty means only serving one god or only serving one pantheon, I said, I'm not loyal. I said, I, I am loyal in the sense that when I work with a god, I love that god entirely. I'm never going to betray them or hurt them or try to go behind their back and worship another deity. I'm very open with what I do. I said, I love you so much. I do. I adore you. I said, but you seem to confuse ownership with loyalty and me just being with the Norse pantheon with being a good human being. I said, I'm not a bad human being. I'm... You know, if you work with Dionysus and you work with the Greek pantheon, they're very liberating gods. Well, Dionysus is, Apollo not so much, but I'm <laughs> getting laughter. And, you know, they would have you not know, have shame if you work with 200, 2,000 deities. They don't care as long as you love the deity and you do what you do with respect. Dionysus is endlessly amused that you could not tell the difference between the Jesus cult and the Dionysus cult. In fact, if you swapped out the names of the two, you couldn't actually tell the difference because they both churned water into wine, did all these other things, and made reference to uh, bread and wine and everything. And of course, both cults scream at each other that they stole, but the deities themselves seem to have better things to worry about than who said it first or who wore it best or anything like that. I mean, giggles back here. Um, you know, when um, Jesus first came to, you know, Europe to be put into sculpture, at least, especially for the Greek people, he was beautiful like Dionysus. He was very sensual looking and he seemed to have problem finding clothes. It was a shame. And <laughs> And that's usually a Hermes straight. Um, but, you know, um, they're good gods to work with. They're very rewarding. I love Odin, but I don't trust him and his furry hide. It's been pathetic. Wolves have been parachuting in at this point. Just, like, wolves and everything. Like, wolves everywhere. And it's, other than the store, wolves everywhere. Wolves. <laughs> it's, like, it's sweet. And I even wore my wolf jacket today. I'm like, it's sweet and I love you, but you don't change. You will behave in the International House of Awesome for like 30 hot seconds. And then you'll decide that the only way you can feel love is if you shove everyone else out. I said, I'm I'm not calling you insecure, but that t to me, that's not love. I said, I just love all the deities. I said, you're more than welcome to be here. Loki's more than welcome to be here, but you have to get along with everyone. And, of course, I keep hearing mysterious thumps and bumps in the house because Loki is protesting. I said, why can't you share? What is it that you fear? I said, how can you be replaced if I love every deity in existence? There's literally no competition for you, then, because you know everybody is loved, including you. I said, there's literally no competition for you. What do you think I'm going to do? Because I work with all these other gods. I'm going to just say, oh, I don't need your, your stuff anymore and throw you out. I said, I sometimes wonder how smart you are. You were loved. I swear sometimes Odin has half a functioning brain cell and he split it in half and shared half of Loki. I, they don't, you know, it's it's this weird thing. And it might just be the thing they play against me because they know it works of, you know, being that terribly insecure. You might not get to see that side of them, but I'm like, there's nothing I can do. Dionysus and I discussed it all day and it was a thing of, I said to him, you know, Odin is my kryptonite that every time Odin comes close, it only takes him about three sentences and he's back in my good graces. I said, that God is my kryptonite. No, I'm, you know, I serve Dionysus, so Dionysus understands a lot of things. And he said, that's, that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. You, you serve me. And to me, that's a good thing. He says, it's just, how does he treat you other than wanting to be totalitarian and be the only deity? <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, um, I don't know. I said, it's not like, you know, Loki or Odin ever beat me and they don't neglect me. You know, everybody would like better living circumstances, but you know what I mean? They don't neglect me. They don't beat me, they don't threaten me, they've never laid a hand on me. I said, but, you know, for some of the stuff I've asked them for, and some of the other things. So, of course, Dionysus led me to a thing on Dionysus, which was funny, because it was put up on a um, channel where I don't think they understand that Dionysus is a god, and that he's a liberator of slaves and women. Like, seriously, I, have, I don't think they have any idea who he is. 
Um, he wasn't inv invented by the Templars. I'm sorry, my dear, but he's an ancient deity. He's thousands of years older than your Templar anti-women movement. He man women hating club. <laughs> oh my lord. But um, you know, he would actually argue for them. And, you know, they would argue for having a blended household because it's like, you know, people will say, I don't know why you keep taking Odin back. And it's like, because he, he behaves poorly. And then, metaphorically speaking, it's like this wolf crawling towards you, ears down, tail tucked under, crawling on his belly, like, I'm so sorry, I'll never do it again. And you know he's not really sorry, but he's acting sorry and giving you the token effort that's like, oh, you really changed. And no, oh, he didn't. He never changes, but he's he's trying to be cute and adorable now, which is profoundly disturbing considering he's a god of death and war. But I think it's slowly, ever so slowly dawning on Odin that no matter what he does to me, this is not rear window. He can't remake me into what he, you know, what he wants me to be. It's not... Hope I quoted the right movie. Um, it's not a thing where that if he just keeps working and shoving, he'll get his way. He's seen what I'm like with Dionysus, and he's seen what I'm like with the other gods. And I don't know, man. But I know he keeps trying to engineer his way in. I'm not sure if next time, you know, I'll try to do one deity a day if we should do Bastet because you know I've I've been sensing her trying to come around, and she she will think about things and the cute little ears you can tell go back and she's she's adorable i think she's like a little sweetheart i'm so in love with her she she was the first goddess who worked with me she and anubis took me in when i was a tiny little witch lit and they explained to me they were my patron and matron but they would take care of me and you know watch over me so if you guys like what you see like comment subscribe and i'll see you later Bye bye